Hi again everyone. I just wanted to show you uh, the products that I used for the rest of my face of the day today and tell you what I think about them. I didn't have time to fit it in uh, with the tutorial part so I'm just going to show you everything else that I used for my face of the day today and give you a little bit of a rundown on um, what I think. Okay, so first thing I used was the MAC Prep and Prime uh, primer and I'm actually kind of liking this. I got a sample of it. I haven't been really big on primers. I don't think for the most part they've really done much for me at all. This one um, seems it seems to work a little better for me than the other ones I've tried. I um, haven't been using it that long so I'll, I can keep you updated on that. It just gives kind of a really nice uh, smooth surface. Your makeup applies nicely and it doesn't uh, you know, seem to get all over the place. Okay, I used my favorite foundation, which again is the Guerlain Pure Extreme. And I'm a little lighter now than I was in the summer. So summertime I was using 03 and uh, I picked up 02. And what I do is I mix them now and I use a, just this little dish here. It's actually a candle holder. And I just put one pump of the one color, one pump of the other, kind of mix them together. And then I apply it from here onto my face. And then I've been using the um, Sephora 55 airbrush to blend it out. And I really like this brush. I would definitely recommend this. I have all kinds of other brushes and it. I don't know what it is about this brush, but I love it. Okay, so that's uh, foundation concealer. Uh, today I used the, the uh, Time Bomb concealer in medium. This, mm, you know, to me the same as most concealers. I still haven't found my Holy Grail concealer, so I've been hearing good things about the Bobbi Brown um, creamy concealer. So I might try to pick that up and give that a go. I have, I have probably just about everything for concealers, and I think to me they're pretty much all this well I mean obviously some are better than others but I still haven't found the one I do like this brush however for applying under eye concealer it's the cover FX 170 and sorry it's dirty but that's that's what it looks like there and this is very stiff and it comes right to a, a point and uh, I use it to get right under the eyes in there and it it can, you can apply it and blend it at the same time with this. And I know Lise Wache makes a brush very similar to this one as well. Okay, so that's concealer. Next thing I used was my MAC um, Medium Mineralized Skin Finish all over as a setting powder. And I just applied that with my Kevin Aquan Super Soft Buff Powder Brush. Your Everyday Minerals brush is just as good as this one and I like these to apply it because you can pack it on and work it in at the same time. Okay, so that's that. For contouring right now I'm using uh, Max Tan Tone and I think this was either a limited or discontinued. That's the color right there. And uh, for the longest time I was using Harmony. I don't know why I switched to this one, but I'm liking this one. I apply it with the Shuomura 16DF Goat Brush. And I will tell you this, that I got this brush from eBay, so I'm not sure if it is authentic or not, but either way, I love it. The bristles are angled, uh, very quite firm, and it's a really good brush to uh, get under the cheekbones, so I apply it under the cheekbones, under the jaw, temples, and then I use my Smashbox number no. 3 brush and to do the sides of my nose. Okay, so that's contouring. Uh, I just picked up this thing, which is a Gosh Giant Sun Powder, It's and it's giant, it's big. It is kind of a golden color you can see that it doesn't it's not really like bronzer it's just kind of a shimmer like a kind of a glow I put it all over my face today's the first day I've used this so I like it so far yep okay um, next I wanted to try out my throb from benefit that I just picked up which is a really pale pink color been wanting to get this for a while 
and on its own I found it a little bit too light for my skin tone so I used uh, a little bit of Koi Girl which is that color there so I put this on first well I put the the um, throb on first and it wasn't dark enough so then I added this on top and then a little more of the throb just on the cheekbones and I'm using the um, NARS Yoshio uh. brush which is a really nice brush. I'm not crazy about the handle. It's really dainty and I'm not a dainty kind of girl for the most part. Um, I wouldn't say that you should rush out and get this. I do like it. I like it a lot. I use it, but I don't think that it's that special for the amount of money that they char they're charging for this. Okay, um, one quick note here, and I wanted to do this for one of my friends on Makeup Alley. I wanted to compare Throb to Narcisse. So I'm going to just show you them side by side. So that's Narcisse and that's Throb. And I thought these were going to be close, but um, the Narcisse seems to have a little more peach in it. I'm going to try to swatch them on my fingers and see if we can get like a... Okay, so that's Narcisse right there and this is Throb which is looks a lot more kind of brownie this is uh, the Throb so it's not quite as pink as Narcisse thought it might be a dupe but not quite okay so next um, eyebrows and I've been really liking my Shuamura hard formula seal brown pencil and I got this after watching Pixie Woo's videos and I, this is the best pencil I've ever owned. It, is, it doesn't go on as um, easily as some of the other ones do, but it makes it your brows look more natural, I think. So I put that on and then I just use this. It's just a little brush thing, similar to a toothbrush to brush the brows through. Oh, I should mention, um, in the other video, I did use uh, my Urban Decay Primer Potion before I started. This this is the po primer potion, but it's just depotted. So when you think you're out of your primer potion, cut your bottle apart because you've got another probably year's worth in there. So to just cut the bottle and scrape it out, put it in a little container, and you're good to go. Okay, so for lips today, um, I had picked up this Lee Swatchy. Uh, lip liner in ginger after I saw it on one of my girlfriends and it's really pretty and this this is kind of like a waterproof that looks much darker on my skin than it looks in real life it might even itself out when I upload the video but I really like this it's a waterproof lip liner so it stays on I mean even rubbing it it's it's on there and um, for lips, I use the YSL Rouge Volupt in number one. I love these lipsticks. They are so soft and smooth and creamy. The only thing is they don't last a whole, they don't last very long on, on your lips, so you have to keep reapplying them, but I still love them. On top of that, I have the oh, Glitzy, it's from Milani, Glamour Gloss thing and this one is struck by beauty and I just put this right in the center here and on top too so that is it for everything else that I used today um, nail polish I tried to get really shiny with it and blingy um, what I was originally wanting to do was put this china glaze polish which is Nova and it's all glitter. I tried putting this on by itself because I wanted to do just silver sparkly nails but um, I would have had to put about 50 coats on to get it to, to have coverage the way I wanted it so I used the um, Emerald Sparkle from China Glaze underneath and then I put uh, just one coat of this on top so that's what it turned out like. Oh, and um, on top of that, I put a couple of coats of my Sesh Vite, which is my favorite top coat. And I find if you use a glitter nail polish, you want to put as many top coats on as you can until the glitter is underneath the top coat. It just gives glitter more dimension. If um, 
and it doesn't look dull and, and kind of cheap if you can get you know your top coat to actually cover all of the glitter. So I used two top two layers of that and that's it guys. Thanks a lot for watching. See you next time. Bye.